That's, that's, it seems like another lifetime in a way, and, and that's uh, and one that I uh, treasure, but uh, I, I don't know how I would go about uh, creating that character now if I were to start doing Mulder tomorrow, so it's all, it all depends on who you are, when you, when you start to do something, when you do something in a way. That was totally confusing. <laughs> I, I, I have less of an idea of what I mean than when I started answering that question. Dave, aren't you doing something on stage in New York soon? Yeah, I'm going to do a, a play called Break of Noon in uh, New York that starts uh, October 28th. Can we take a couple more? <laughs> It, yeah, there, there's a lot of experience in the writer's room. I have a lot of 20-something writers on my staff who are out there dating, who are unmarried, and they're willing to share their stories, so I appreciate that. Uh, but a lot of it is wish fulfillment, too. So, there you have it. Hi, I have a question for Victoria. Yes, yeah, so Madeline is in... Uh, you know, four episodes of this season, so she'll she's back for more. <laughs> hey, there's another question. Uh, <laughs> do you like them or we like them? I'm not. Was it a question? <laughs> um, can you ask it again? I had never actually been a, a fan of his music, and for some reason I started to listen to it right around the time we were shooting, or maybe shortly after. And then uh, I just really got into it, and um, his songs just seemed to fit right into our world, focused as they were often on California and a certain kind of decadent California lifestyle and uh, jaundiced view of the world. and. Um, Tom, I think I got, I think I got you into, or yeah, that's right. You actually passed the book on to me. It's, right. Uh, so it just kind of became something that we we go back to again and again. But it's it's fairly new to both of us, and I don't remember the first part of your question. <laughs> Hi. So. Um, you know, each each role you you approach with the demands that the role has. So I, I, I think I said earlier, I don't compare the two uh, in my mind. And you know, I would hope that you don't have to either, that you can appreciate both shows uh, in and of themselves as uh, complete entities. Uh, wasn't, I wasn't necessarily looking to, to do a television show at that time in my life. And uh, the script came to me and I just thought it had the kind of humor that I associated with films from the 70s uh, that I really liked, a, a certain kind of humor that I thought I could function in. And so I met with Tom and take it away, Tom. Uh, long story short, Californication started as a screenplay that I wrote very much um, thinking about the anti-hero films of the 70s. I was thinking about Hal Ashby and I was, I was like, where is Warren Beatty today or Jack Nicholson? And it was a terrible screenplay, actually. And, but the six, first 60 pages, uh, my wife told me were great, so it became a spec cable pilot. Uh, David read it at some point, we had lunch. I thought the lunch went terribly. <laughs> and, but then two days later, he had sent me this long letter telling, uh, he, basically at the end of which he said, fuck you, this thing is keeping me up at night. <laughs> Next thing I knew, we were negotiating, and it's been a uh, dream come true. Yeah. yeah uh, a fuck you for me usually means I'm about to do something. <laughs> you know, Michael, uh, um, 